Good morning children. Today we shall learn about area. First, let us see what is an area. This is Mehnat Ram. He wanted to buy land for farming. He saw many different lands of different shapes. He wanted to know which land he should buy so that he could grow maximum number of trees on his land. How can he find this? Well, if the land were of these shapes, then where all could he grow the trees? He could grow in the colored region. It is the region which is bounded by the shape. See? So, what we are trying to measure is the size of the shape or in other words we are trying to find the region bounded by the shape basically here it is the region which is filled with tree so the area here is this region which is filled with trees and same here this is the whole area which is bounded by the shape and which is filled by trees is the area of the shape. Understood? Now, Mehnat Ram saw this land first. He wanted to find the largest available land to grow maximum number of trees. How to find out this? He got an idea. He used a square tile to fill the whole land and find out how many tiles were required to do so. See, this is a square tile so he wanted to see how many square tiles were required to fill the whole area, the whole region bounded by this shape. So, let us use the square tile and find out how many tiles are used to measure the area of this land? Mehnat Ram started to fill the land with the square tiles. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, 7 tiles were placed in the first row and slowly he filled the land with the square tiles until the whole land was filled and he counted all the tiles and it came out to be 49 tiles. How? Let us see that. So how much land area is here? First as we saw there are one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tiles in one row. Now, how many such rows are there? Let's count it. 1 row, 2 row, 3 row, 4 row, 5 row, 6 row and 7 row. So in all, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 rows. So, how to find the total number of tiles? Simple. Every row has equal number of tiles which is 7 and there are 7 such rows. So, how many tiles are there? There are 7 times 7 tiles. We need to do multiplication. 7 multiplied by 7 which is 49. So 49 tiles were there in total and 49 tiles were required to fill the area of this land. Now you may ask in what unit is the area expressed? The area is expressed in square units where 
यूनिट कुड बी एनी थिंग मीटर सेंटीमीटर फुट एक्सेट्रा सो वी कैन से द एरिया इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी नाइन स्क्वायर यूनिट्स एंड द यूनिट कुड बी एनी थिंग मीटर सेंटीमीटर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द साइज ऑफ द स्क्वायर टाइल वी यूज नाउ सपोज each of the square tile used for measuring the land has a side equal to 1 meter since it is a square tile it means all the sides have the same length this is 1 meter this is 1 meter and this is also 1 meter so if we put seven tiles in a row what will be the length the seven tiles placed together in a row then the length will be 7 meters why because this is 1 meter so 1 meter 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 the total comes out to be 7 meter this means the length of seven tiles is equal to 7 meters now here in the case where the land is of square shape we see all the sides have equal number of tiles here how many tiles seven tiles were used in a row thus all the sides have seven tiles and the length of each side is equal to 7 meter so we can say each side of the plot is equal to 7 into 1 meter which is 7 meters here in the square land all the sides are equal to 7 meter and the area is 7 meters multiplied by 7 meters which is equal to 49 square meter so the way to find the area is side length multiplied by the side length since all the sides are equal in a square so if you know the length of any side then you can calculate the area of the square now see the unit here since the sides were measured in meters the area is in square meter so the area is 49 square meter similarly if the side of the square is expressed in centimeter like here if it is 7 centimeter then what is the area area of the square is side multiplied by side so 7 cm multiplied by 7 cm and the area is equal to 49 square cm here the unit is cm one more thing to remember is the length of the side should be in same unit you cannot have one side expressed in meter and the other side in cm so all the lengths should be in the same unit and the same unit will be using to express the area as square unit understood so now you know how to calculate the area of a square if you know the length of a side you can find the area of a square shape as side multiplied by side and the unit is square units where unit could be anything as meter centimeter kilometer etc in the story we saw the three children drew lines on the ground to figure out the clue and what did they make they actually made a square on the ground each side of the square was 100 steps long 
isn't it then what was the area of this square can we find it out yes we can find it out so each of them went 1 meter in two steps that is one side of the tile which we shall be using to measure the land we can fill the square with the same unit squares which we have been using to find this area so in 100 steps the children covered 50 tiles as in a square all the sides are equal 50 tiles each side so the total number of tiles used to fill up the square area is 50 in each row and there are such 50 rows so 50 multiplied by 50 is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 and putting the two zeros so 2500 so the area would be 2500 and what would be the unit square meter as we are using the tile of 1 meter length to measure this area we can also do it the other way round we know each side of the square is 50 meter and what is the area of square it is the length of side multiplied by the length of side and in the square all the sides are equal so what is the area the area here would be 50 multiplied by 50 so the area would be 2500 square meters understood now to sum up what we learned today given a square you can find its area in two ways first by finding out how many square tiles are used to fill up that area like here the number of tiles used are 7 multiplied by 7 which is 49 square tiles are used to fill up the square area the second way if you know the length of the side of a square then the area becomes side multiplied by side square units the most important thing to remember is area is always expressed as square units if the sides are expressed in meters then the area would be in square meter that's all for now bye bye children